A nude makeup always looks contemporary, fresh and polished. I've started my base lashes and brows and I'm going to go in with one of these delicious Too Faced chocolate box eyeshadows. They smell absolutely divine and of course of chocolate. I'm going to use milk chocolate as my first shade. It's a matte tone. I'm going to take this right across my lid. I'm pushing the pigment and it's got such a lovely pigment right into my sockets. I'm just going to keep it really dense on my lid. I'm going to use one colour only and then use the tip of the brush just to sweep a very soft shadow underneath so I don't close my eyes, making sure that the shadow comes above the socket. The same on my other eye. Take a clean brush and blend through to soften the shadow and to keep the eyes nice and wide. It's the simplest but most effective trick. Okay, so next in with Bare Minerals. This is an invisible tan perfect for the winter months. All around the perimeter of my face, underneath my cheekbones. It's really translucent, you can be really brave with it. Underneath my chin, gives you a lovely warm glow. And the tip of the nose. Next, Max Factor Soft Copper. I love this colour. I use it on everyone I work with, I love it. It's a universal shade that just lifts and shapes everyone's cheekbones and neutralizes any redness in the skin and just really beautifies your skin. And to finish, Bobbi Brown's Lip Crush in Bare. It's my new favorite nude. I love the texture. Mm. And it's just perfect for a smoky eye or something that's just really natural. And it just sits on the lips really well doesn't move. Mm. I love this shade, it's actually quite hard to find a nude sometimes because sometimes it can make you feel a little bit pale, um, it can wash you out but this has got enough warmth in it that it actually just gives you a lovely pretty mouth. And to finish off and balance my wonky lips I'm gonna make the shape more solid by using Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat, it's a great colour. I just need to make that part of my lip a little bit fuller. Nice. And just to add a little bit of radiance to my skin to make sure that it's all glossy and not too flat, which is important when you're doing a nude makeup, I'm going to put a little bit of the Pericone highlighter, no highlighter, highlighter, I always get that confused, and just pop it onto my cheekbones just to catch the light, maybe a little bit just under the brow bone. Bridge of nose, just where the bone is and just pat, 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 just to make sure that everything looks fresh and youthful. Great. So grouping the colour tones of your makeup together just keeps everything really polished, classy and sophisticated. It just looks really effortless and especially if you're wearing nude makeup and nude tones, it really throws the beauty of your features forward. I hope you like it.